All right, guys, Papa Pepper back again with another one of the wild man's wild friends. As I uh, travel around for work, I get to go to some interesting places and happen upon some interesting things. So came to Mississippi. And although we have the broad-banded water snake in uh, Arkansas, I'd never seen it in our um, region because it simply doesn't live there. And in my travels across Arkansas, I had not yet encountered it. So we're going to be answering some questions like, do these guys lay eggs? What do they eat? Are they venomous? And, uh, you know, how big do they get? So there are three recognized subspecies of what we call a uh, Nerodia fasciata. <clears throat> There's the banded water snake, uh, Nerodia fasciata fasciata. There is the broad banded water snake, which is what I believe this is. Nerodia fasciata confluens, and then there's also a Florida water snake. So if you notice, I mean, this guy's obviously Nerodia. It's obviously a nice, beautiful, um, non-venomous water snake, a lot like the uh, plain-bellied water snake, uh, Nerodia erythrogaster, or the um, northern water snake, Nerodia cypodon. So absolutely just marvelous. Um, I would say that this one, probably out of all those species, looks the most like a water moccasin as far as just the pattern that it actually can have. Um, but very easy to differentiate. Unfortunately, a lot of snakes, anytime they're by the water, people immediately consider them to be a water moccasin or a cottonmouth, and they just start killing them. And it happens to a lot of land snakes, too. So these guys are technically a semi-aquatic snake. You can find them on land or in the water. This one was in the water in a little ditch. They are big eaters of fish and frogs, tadpoles, things like that, and um, other amphibians too, definitely, but they will eat, you know, crayfish and other stuff too. I just, I'm so blown away with the beauty of this creature. So um, these guys, generally you're going to find them around like the two to three foot range, but the biggest one was found in Florida at over five feet. I think it was like 62 inches, which is absolutely fantastic um, to consider. They're pretty much coming along the east coast of the United States from like South Carolina on down through Florida, then across the bottom up the Mississippi River Valley, supposedly all the way up even into um, Illinois, and then westward across like half of Texas, um, some in Arkansas, Oklahoma, things like that. So pretty good range. So some good news for these guys too is just simply that their numbers are doing well. They're not considered to be threatened or endangered. Um, although, you know, roadkill can take some out and then also people just killing them. But they are considered harmless. Um, these are a snake, much like all the Nerodia I've met, where if you encounter them, their first ac action is they just take off. These guys just take off and try to leave the area as fast as they can, often by swimming underwater. I have to jump into water or try to sneak up on them or stuff like that just to grab them. But when you grab them, they're very defensive. They will bite and things about water snake bites is first of all they do have an agent in their um, saliva that kind of helps prevent uh, clots so you might bleed a little more but then also a lot of times when you grab a water snake your hands are wet so the blood just looks worse because it's got a wet surface to spread out across so the habitat for these guys is often going to be marshes swamps rivers lakes streams ponds they can even be found in brackish water and um, you may not even realize they're there simply because they exit the area so quickly usually when something bigger comes along like a person and uh, they can hold their breath for quite some time too uh, it's reported up to 20 minutes which is absolutely crazy um, sometimes at night because uh, these guys are diurnal and nocturnal they'll feed during the day or at night but you can actually see them with an open mouth chasing fish in the shallows and stuff which is quite a sight to behold um, happy to have found this one obviously um, looks like it was recently just birthed so give live birth this is probably about as small as you're gonna find them so very cool but an absolutely beautiful snake hopefully you guys learned a few things the broad banded water snake one of the wild man's wild friends pop out mm -hmm.